Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Today's gonna be quite an interesting video because I've had quite an interesting experience with the product that I'm reviewing. It's been a while since I've talked about BH Cosmetics here on the channel and it's for no particular reason besides I just kind of fell out of touch with them. I hadn't tried a lot of their new products. I think the last thing I talked about was their Zodiac pack which I used on my birthday in March. But BH Cosmetics has a special place in my heart because I bought my very first eyeshadow palette from them. They were like my first kind of favorite budget beauty brand. But recently they sent me a PR package so I've been able to play around with some of their new releases including the new liquid linen lipsticks. So yes, we have 10 new liquid lipsticks from the brand. The liquid linen lipsticks are supposed to be lightweight, long lasting, and very breathable. Now, I just kinda wanna start off this review straight out of the gate. As soon as I started unboxing these lipsticks, I noticed a major problem. As I was taking the lipsticks out of their boxes, I was noticing that the shade in the tube did not match up with the shade on the box. After I made that observation, I went online on BH Cosmetics website to compare the photo photos of the lipsticks to the lipsticks in my hand and again the color difference was pretty big. So that's pretty concerning to me because BH Cosmetics is an online brand so people are going to be relying on the photos of the product to make their purchase and make up their mind about which shade they like or what would look good on them. So I'm really glad that you clicked on this video if you were thinking about purchasing these because I'm going to live swatch all 10 shades but I'm also going to hold up the tube versus the box picture and so you can see the comparison because it's kind of mind blowing. So I'm going to show you the shade comparisons first, then I'm gonna swatch the shades and then I'll come back and tell you what I think of the actual product. Here is the shade Karen in the tube compared to what's on the box. This is one of the biggest differences in the entire line. This is a shade comparison of Martha. Here's a shade comparison of Shelby. Here's Monica. This is Natalie. Here's Evelyn. This is Juliana, probably the closest out of all of them, but still there is a shade difference there. This looks almost purpley and this one definitely leans more reddish brown. This is Mel, so you'd expect maybe a red shade, but you really get a straight up orange. Here is Maria, which is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is a classic red shade, but the box makes it look like a dark fuchsia. And here's Jacqueline. So as you can see, really big differences from what's on the box to what's in the tube and what gets applied to your lips. I thought maybe the printer was a little faded or something, the one that printed these boxes, but even on the website, like I said, the way that they depict their photos is very similar to what's on the box and very unsimilar to what you get. So let's get into the swatches. Despite the huge flaw in color presentation that the brand has given us, um, the actual colors in this line are very pretty, so let's just jump into those. This first shade is Martha. This next one is Natalie. This next one is Evelyn. This next one is Shelby. This next one is Cairn. This 
Now we're about halfway through these swatches, but I just needed to take a pause because just the drastic difference between how this lipstick in this particular shade performs compared to what's on the box and what's on the website as far as how they picture the shade is probably the most laughable in this entire collection. So again, this is Cairn. This is what it looks like on the box. Yeah, no. <laughs> it looks like it's supposed to be this neon coral shade on the box and on the website. And while it does look maybe a tiny bit more corally on the lips than it does in the tube, it's still nowhere near this shade here. So yeah, just swatching these shades, it's just kind of like blowing my mind how different they look versus how they are pictured on the box and website. All right, let's move on. This shade is Monica. Next up is Jacqueline. Up next is Maria. This is Mel. This is another one where I just really have to point out the difference because this is straight up orange and this is what it looks like on the box and on the website. Last but not least, Juliana. So as you can see, we do really have some beautiful shades in this collection. Unfortunately, you don't really know what you're getting if you are just basing it on what you see online. I will say though, the lighter shades do tend to be a little bit streaky, but this formula dries down very quickly and it layers pretty well too. So if you do experience any streakiness, um, you can just go on with a second layer with those lighter shades and get an opaque finish. With the deeper shades, including this one, Maria, which is such a beautiful matte red, um, you don't really have that problem one swipe you get full coverage. As for the feeling of these lipsticks, now they are matte, so they do dry down. However, I don't feel them to be like pulling my lips tighter or making them feel unbearably dry. There definitely is a drier than normal feeling, but it's not uncomfortable. There have been so many matte liquid lipsticks that have been released over the past few years that don't really have a matte finish. So the fact that these do have that beautiful, flat, smooth matte finish, I really like, but it does come with the fact that you will get a little bit of dryness. But these are very lightweight. They go on in very thin layers. So especially with these dark colors, um, you really don't need to layer them up at all. And there have been a few times where I completely forgot that I'm wearing lipstick when I have these on. You know how some matte liquid lipsticks, when you move your lips, you can feel it like coming apart or cracking or like stretching. This formula doesn't do that. It's flexible. It moves around with your lips without cracking or like splitting in the lines of your lips. So that's a really big plus for me. I haven't experienced a lot of transfer with these lipsticks. Once in a while, I might see a little bit of like flaking around the inside of my lips come off onto like a water bottle. But I feel like that's such a hard area to really keep lipstick on, like the wet part of your lip. That's pretty much the only flaking or fading that I do see in like a shorter amount of time. As for the rest of the lip besides, you know, the inner area, this color clings on. Oily Food is pretty much its only match. 
it will fade, especially in the inner area. Um, however, anything else, just like going about your day, sipping on water or coffee, you're not gonna really experience much of fading or wearing off. The liquid linen lipsticks only cost $7 on the BH website. I will link it below. Honestly, I think this is a really great product. I think the price is really fair. You're getting a very comfortable matte finish. If you really like the look of a flat matte effect, but you just can't stand the feeling that most lipsticks give you, this is probably a really good option for you because it is such a lightweight and flexible formula. However, when you're choosing your shade, definitely go by swatches and not by what you see on the website. It's just such a big oversight on the brand's part. I don't know if no one's told them yet that the shades don't match <laughs> what's pictured. The brand's really not doing itself any favors because the product itself is great, especially for the price, but I can foresee negative reviews kind of taking over because people are gonna be ordering a product thinking it's one shade and they're gonna end up with another. So it's just kind of a weird experience that I've had with these because, you know, had I been purchasing them myself online and picking out the shades I wanted, I would have been extremely disappointed. But going in with an open mind and just taking the shades for what they are, I like the product and I can definitely see myself wearing these and incorporating them into a bunch of fun looks. I really like that the shade range kind of leans more neutral, but we do have the pops of red and then that deep brown is gonna be awesome for fall. So again, great product if you love that matte finish but you want something a little bit more comfortable. I definitely would suggest still exfoliating your lips beforehand if you do have chapped or dry lips just to make sure that the effect is as smooth as can be. What do you think of the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen Lipsticks? Which one is your favorite? Leave it in the comments below and I'm very curious curious to hear if you've tried these, were you surprised with the shade that you got versus what you thought you were ordering. If you want to see more makeup reviews here on the channel, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. If you've done both those things, high five, but have you hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live? If you don't turn on post notifications, then YouTube will decide what's on your subscription page, not you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!